Hello YouTube and welcome to another Figma video. Here I have the Hatsune Miku 2016 racing project. Now, as always, let's start with the box. So unlike other Miku figures, this box does not have a window to check the figure out. Instead, you get a lovely rendition of Miku there. You can see personal sponsors, Racing Miku. On the side, we have another picture of her. And on the back, we have the various poses. And it also shows the two faces that you get in this Figma. You get a two eyes open, open mouth, and then winking face with the open mouth. Other than that, the box is pretty nice, but let's get on to the actual figure. Now, sadly, I bought this pre-owned and I didn't realize that unlike other racing Mikus, the umbrella isn't printed when it comes to their to the actual designs on them. So let me grab it real quick to show you guys what I mean. So, it's hard to tell, but you can see that some of them are starting to peel off because it's a sticker, you know, stickers peel off after a certain amount of time, and that's just been what happening, that's just what has been happening to it. However, not that big of a deal because I won't be displaying her with the open umbrella anyway. Um, that is the piece to attach to the umbrella. And this is the large flagpole that you can have her holding. Along with that, you of course have the different hands, which are over here. So you have a pointing finger, two hands for holding stuff, two closed fists, and an open hand. And I have the ones attached right now are the pointing and the open hand. The current pose I'm trying to have her on, if you can see that, is the one with the umbrella. The main issue I've had though, is because there's no real spot for the upper part of the umbrella to like stick into, it falls off quite a lot. And the hand isn't the greatest at holding it because it's not tight enough. It's just kind of, you slide it in there and hope it doesn't fall off. But let's see if we can get a better look at the figure. So here we have her. As you can see, she is quite colorful and when you compare her to past racing Mikus. So let's grab, for example, this one right here. Most racing Mikus have this sort of color scheme, the black, white, and nothing really going on else. Uh, I can also quickly show a quick comparison. So as you can see over here, um, these are not racing Mikus. Um, but these two, however, are. And as you can see, the colors are very similar, just the black, white, nothing else going on. So this difference in color is what really makes her stand out when compared to other racing Mikus. And especially when it comes to what her actual dress is, you know, the white with the red accents instead of the white with blue accents or black accents. So I'm really happy that they decided to go with that for this year, or not this year, for 2016, because it's just a great way to show off their artistic skills. As you can see, it does fall off, so I'll just let it go. So for the back, you can see her twin tails, and there's even colors in there. You can see the orange, the yellow. You see quite a lot, and it's really nice to see. 
you can also see, let me see if I can pick that up. You have Van Presto, Gift, and other company logos on the back of her dress, as well as, of course, Good Smile Company on the shoulder or on her arm, and Krypton on her leg. Overall, though, this figure is quite lovely, and I highly recommend getting it if you can. It is quite unique, and if it were up to me and I had to choose one of the many racing Mikus to get, I'd probably choose this one just because of the color scheme, the red, the rainbows, everything about it makes it pop and stand out. And so that would be my final, I guess, conclusion when it comes to this figure, that it must be one of the better ones and a must get for any collector or anyone who really likes Miku in general. So I like to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. If you enjoy the content, leave a like. If you want to just, you know, talk or give more information about the figure and whatnot, leave a comment down below. And lastly, if you do like this sort of content, you can always subscribe. That helps the channel grow. And overall, it'll just let you know whenever I post more videos. I try to post on a weekly basis, but things happen. So we'll see how that goes. Other than that, I hope you guys stay safe. And I hope you guys enjoyed looking at this figure as much as I did. See you later.